Hello, my name is Kevin and this is the Love Decanters channel. Um, and I'm going to talk about white fryers rib ribbed wave glass today. So yeah, that was a mouthful. And, um, and, and because I've been told by my wife, um, here's a picture of some rib rib ribbed wave glass. So anyway, um, it, it's a molded pattern that was uh, designed in, in, I think, originally produced in the 1920s. Um, and they were, I think they were still making it right up until they closed. Um, I don't have that much of it. I have a few bits. Um, uh, yeah, I used to have loads. And um, I, I think quite a lot of it I gave away as presents to my brother because he really liked it. I had a lot of um, ruby ones and he really loved those. So yeah, he's got quite a few of those. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you what I've got. They're quite rarer pieces. Um, and also, I will show you um, some some web stuff as well because quite often you will see uh, Thomas Webb glass um, being described as um, white fries and and one of the rules that uh, people use for this is the white fries this is Webb doesn't work in every, every situation so I'm going to explain that too so here we go with the video so here's the first one I'm going to show you. Um, this is known as the tumbler bars. Um, the pattern number is 8473 and I think it was designed by Marriott Powell about 1930. Um, it comes in a lot of sizes. I don't think this is the biggest. This is a 12 inch one. It's fairly monster and um, yeah so I think there's a 15 inch one which would be this much higher and I pres presume proportionally bigger. If you look at here, I'll show you it from above. You can see it makes a hexagon shape because it's the, the waves, there's six waves as it goes round. Yeah, and also, yeah, big pontal mark there. Yeah, can you see that? And I think pontal marks are kind of proportionate. Um, I do have a tiny one somewhere, a little six incher. I can't find it in the same color. This is called sea green. So, um, yeah. Um, it's rare because it's big, uh, and I think the um, the 15 inch ones are extremely rare. So um, yeah, and, and yeah, it goes off the edge of my pictures. I have to go off the edge or my paper because I have to pull back a little bit from it. So yeah, it's a huge piece. So on my lap, I have the um, Whitefriars Museum of London book, um, and this is the catalogue from 1940 that they're showing here. I'm also going to show you the Leslie Jackson book as well, and you'll. See, I'm not. I'm not keep repeating myself. The Leslie Jackson book has got um, photos, Museum of London catalogues. So, anyway, uh, there it is. That, there's that tumbler of ours. Um, eight four seven three six sizes, and it tells you the sizes go from. Can I get it focus? Six inches to fifteen inches. There you go. And also it gives you a whole pile of colours. Um, some of them are pretty rare, like Sanctuary Blue. Amethyst is super rare. Um, so there you go. So here's the tumbler vases again. You can see the different colours. Um, tell you the shape designed by Marriott Powell, circa 1930. Um, yeah, that's Sanctuary Blue. Golden, Amber, Emerald, Sea Green, Sapphire. So the next thing I'm showing you is this um, lamp base. It's absolutely huge. Um, it's, it's reference number is 8057. Um, I think this is probably the reference number is very close. Again. I think this is from 1930 as well. I don't know who designed this shape. Um, until very recently, I was using this as a lamp. Um, yeah, it's huge, and you can see, oh, it's got a sticker. I bought this, um, bought this from Christie's. I think it was part of the um, Parkington collection. Um, so I've had it a very long time. And um, yeah, it's, and it, and it came with this plate already glued into it. And I, I put this on. Um, I think the other one was a Blakerlite one, which was broken or something. And um, 
Yeah, and I put the wire in, and, and I've used it until actually just a couple of weeks ago because um, we've got work going on in the house and um, we were reorganising things and it didn't really go where we moved the goose in on top of our piano. Anyway, so that's this. It's quite rare. There's a shorter, fatter version. You'll see that in the reference I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, and it's and it's huge. It's it's even taller than the. I think this must be about 15 inches tall. Um, yep. Yeah, so that's the um, the lamp base. And as you can see, I've had to pull further away to even get this in the shop. So here I am. Here is the um, the lamp base. It comes in three sizes. Um, 10 to 14 inches. The one I was showing you was a 14 inch one. It is absolutely huge. Um, yeah, and you've got all these other different shapes as well. Here we go again with the, these are the lamp bases I'm showing you and this is the one that I have. I think this looks like it's a big one. This one's in sea green. I think that looks like it's in flint. Yeah. Yep. And um, sapphire, emerald, sanctuary blue. So um, what I'm showing you here is the uh, 9146 pattern um, vase. Um, this is the 9 inch version. It comes in different sizes. Um, yeah, you can see. I don't know if you can, you can just about make it out, can't you? Because this is, this is amethyst. Um, and it, I really like this. This is one of the first pieces of white fries I bought. I've got it at an auction. Um, and it wasn't very expensive. Um, and it's because... I didn't know any better. That that's I knew that pattern and that was it. Um, the the books that we have, the Leslie Jackson and the Museum of London books weren't out then, but um, yeah, I knew that was White Fries just by that pattern. Although in fact I didn't know because I didn't have the catalogue, so I didn't really know. I just thought I think that's White Fries. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's quite. Also the other thing is, is it's pretty rare. Um, I've not seen another one. Uh, definitely not in this colour. It's so dark as well. Um, yeah, uh, that one's not for sale, definitely. So here's the, um, the vase I was showing you, the 9146. Comes in two sizes, nine and five and a half. That was the nine inch one I was showing you. And you can see it comes in amethyst, um, sapphire and emerald. Um, but I think amethyst is pretty rare. So. There we go. So the next piece I'm going to show you, this is Thomas Webb. And this pattern is called Cascade. And this is frequently um, mistaken for being um, white fries because it's got the same six-sided pattern. Can you see? And um, yeah, the Thomas Webb stuff. So all of the uh, white fry stuff is, is mainly vases. There's some lamp bases and some bowls, um, but there's no jugs, there's no glasses, there's no decanters. Um, Thomas Webb, you'll see this pattern with glasses, jugs and decanters. I think there are some fruit bowls um, as well, but um, yeah, there's you won't see any vases like this. Uh, not with this pattern. So um, yeah, so or you won't see, hang on, let me get this right. You won't see any jugs or decanters or glasses like this. Yeah, so just trying to get that the right way around. So here we are back uh, with another Thomas Webb piece. Um, this pattern is called Wave. Some people call it um, Venetian Ripple. And as you can see, the wave on this has only got four sides. Yeah, and that's how you tell the difference. So if it's got a four-sided wave like this, it's definitely Thomas Webb. Um, I used to have vases. Um, I think I um, gave them all away. I do have some pictures and um, yeah, I will pop those up so that you can see the vases. And the vases usually come in brighter colours. Um, they're usually uranium yellow, yeah, uranium green. Um, there's also dark green and um, dark purple. So, so yeah, um, I will pop up some pictures of those as you see because I don't actually have them anymore.
uh, back with the Thomas Webb. I have a couple of cocktail glasses here. And what's nice about these is I, I can actually pick them up and show you them at the same time. And, um, you yeah, know, you can see six-sided, four-sided, but it's a glass, so it's Thomas Webb, um, even though it looks like the the rib wave pattern when you look at it at the right angle. Okay, there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I know I showed you more web than I showed you um, white fries, but the thing is, is that this is the stuff I see on eBay coming up as white fries most frequently um, as a mistake, and also it's the people that ask on the forums the most, is this white fries, is this white fries, all the time. So it, I'm showing you those bits because, you know, those that's where the common mistakes are. Um, uh, yeah, and I will give you um, the descriptions of the books in the, hang on, get this right, the titles of the books in the um, description below. So thank you very much for, for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.